Hey guys, William Sturgeon here from Restored Strength, and today we're going to be talking about five different cues and drills that we can use to help better our swing. The first coaching cue that I want to talk about is curling the toes. When you have a client swinging a bell and you're having issues with their toes coming up off the ground throughout the swing, one key you can use is have them curl their toes. Either curling the toes or pulling grass with the toes. Either way, what happens is you're going to have them contract force through the toes into the ground. That way they can hold and be secure in that bottom position of the swing. The next drill that we're going to be going over is a static stomp deadlift. Oftentimes when a client lacks tension through the abdominals or the glutes or just lacking in the lockout position, I always bring the client towards a static stomp deadlift. And a static stomp deadlift is performing a deadlift and at the top position I'm going to coach my client into cramping the glutes or imagining as if they're going to crack walnut with their glutes. Next, I'm going to have them push their knees back and pull the kneecaps up. That way they're flexing through the quadriceps. Lastly, I'm going to have them pull the ribcage down and embrace the abs. That way the core is nice and tight throughout the top. Again, there's going to be a lot of tension being applied through those three areas, replicating a tall standing plank at the lockout position of our swing. So the next coaching cue that I want to talk about is the hip hinge. If we're having a client have a squatty swing where they're squatting the swing rather than hinging the swing, we need to reintroduce them to the hip hinge. Now the way I like to coach up the hip hinge is to have them place their fist at their hips. Then what I tell my client next is that their upper body is going to be the top part of a can crusher and that their lower body is going to be the other half of the can crusher. Next I'm going to have them have a slight bend in the knee. Then they're going to crush the cans. So they're going to push their butt all the way towards the wall. Stand up nice and tall. Then repeat the motion. Again, I want them to hinge back so they're at the end of the hamstring, then finish up tall. So the next coaching drill I want to talk about is correcting a rounded back. When we're going to get in the bottom position of our swing, if we have this issue where our back's rounding before we go into our swing, what I want my client to do is I want them to sit back towards the end of the heels, tilt the bill towards them, then this is where I'm going to cue them up on pinching the shoulder blades back and putting them in the rear pocket. That way I can depress the shoulder blades and get the lats engaged. Next, I'm going to have them squeeze their armpits and try to break the handle of the bell. That way the lats get fully engaged. And lastly, focusing on keeping the chest up. That way the back remains in a neutral position. So the last drill I want to talk about is queuing up the head position in the swing. We want to make sure that we're avoiding hyperextension through the neck and keeping the head in a neutral position. So two ways you can coach that up is at the bottom position of their swing, they're having their eyes up and the chins tucked back, or you can give them a visual to look at. So keeping a water bottle in front of them. And then at the top position, their eyes are gonna be at the horizon. So they're not gonna be looking down, they're gonna be looking across. One thing to keep in mind when you're coaching this cue up is people who wear glasses. People that wear glasses are gonna have more of a challenging time with keeping their eyes up, being that they're gonna to have to oversee their glasses so rather than queuing them up with looking up, have a visual in front of them. Again, a water bottle or a marking on the ground will help with keeping their head in a neutral position. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully some of these drills can help you and your clients with their swings.